I hit planted here against the headrest because it doesn't seem to want to let it go. <laughs> Guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another video. This is going to be part two to the last one. We just did a tile blow off valve replace a Pro Charger mess on Rob's GT350, and it made a big difference as far as drivability, the way it sounds. Yeah, yeah, rev it. That's way louder. That's way louder. But we also did one on my car. We replaced the precision, I don't even know what to do with it. Thing. Oh, it's right here. We replaced the precision. A lot of guys are doing this on the ESS forums. They're talking about the drivability increase and the sound over these precisions. Now, they're supposed to be similar spring rates and everything, but this is, uh, it's really kind of tough to really, I can't even do it with one hand. So we replaced it with a tile and it makes a massive difference, uh, not only in sound, but also drivability. But Rob has never ridden in a 10R80 car making 700 horsepower with a centrifugal supercharger and we have the same ball valve. And I get to tell you though, this sounds good, mine sounds a little different. So we're gonna hop in my car over here on the street, go for a ride, I'll take you along for the journey. Let's, Let's go. See. Oh really? It's got a yeah distinctive sound, but all right, here we go. 120 pulley. ESS G3X kit with the G4 intercooler. Now we have the tile blow off valve installed over the precision. And let's just do a little bit of a cold start, kind of warm start, I guess. It's, it's, great, it's so loud, yeah. yeah. This has the loud cut gears. I don't know, to me, it's got a better whistle than my Pro Charger does. Do you have loud cut gears in that one? You do? I'll let it warm up, I'll do a little rev action. All right, let's go for a spin if you're ready. We'll get the tires warmed up a little bit and do a couple of hits. But we're making pretty much the same power, just different setups with transmission. All right guys, here we go. Turns out I've been driving my car wrong this whole time. So usually I've, uh, with Winger tuning this thing, yeah. everybody said, and well, they've always said, Ken, like, talked to him a lot, said if you put it into S mode, you could be in like normal drive or whatever. Daryl does all of his tuning in here, so Winger Performance. Uh, I don't know if any other tuners are doing this, but Winger is like the man. But anyway, so drop it to S mode, and that's where he does all of his super tuning with transmission tuning. And I haven't really messed with it because it, you can get locked out of, uh, yeah, you know, so then you have to like slap up and then go back down. As long as you don't touch your your paddles, some people do drive that way. Yeah. Anyway, you're driving to S. Don't touch your paddles. So it'll shift on its on its own. But like one of the coolest things about like a Z01 Camaro is in track mode only. As you push in the accelerator, it downshifts, downshifts, downshifts. Right. With these cars, normally even in track mode or whatever they don't do it as much you have to like really throttle in and then it'll be like well and then you have to really sink down and then it'll drop to the lowest gear possible but it has that feature if you double tap the pedal right it drops to the optimal gear it does but when you go to s mode it's like a lot more alive but when we go to s mode it's like way faster drive around for a minute get some heat in the tires Yeah, my exhaust is nowhere near as loud as yours. It's, it's similar, it sounds low. Similar setup, but I have the resonators back yeah. there, and it gets rid of all, like half of the noise. Yeah, definitely. You hear that little. Yeah. Well, when you're getting on, you can hear it split up. Yeah. Mm hmm. Here. Yeah. What is that? That's the blower. Wow. I always hear it. Like a high pitch whine noise now yep. to it. As soon as you went to S mode. in the cabin is, is I can't even imagine what it sounds like out there you know and it's it just, crazy it just keeps you pinned in your seat because there's no you know 
input of the clutch where you have to let off the gas. Mm -hmm. It's like it just goes. Yep, it just keeps you pinned back there. The last time I had an eye exam, they're like, um, we legally need to tell you that you have to wear glasses. And I was like, well, I'll do it eventually. <laughs> they're like, how are you driving? And I was like, well, I just see, you know, shapes and hope for the best. You're like one foot at a time. <laughs> <laughs> All the gears. This feels, I don't know, I, I really like this better, honestly. The drives are also docile. Tame. The other cool thing is, so IETs are in check, right? The kit doesn't weigh anything at all. No. It's, it's, it's really cheap to buy, you know, the ESS kit. It's funny, I just had a guy message me about my Pro Charger kit for his 350. Yeah. And I straight told him, I was like, dude, if I could do it all over again, I would straight go ESS. It's like, you can get the same amount of performance for three to four thousand dollars less than what you're paying for the pro charger there's a guy that has a like a full weight stock transmission uh 10 r80 like 18 plus gt right uh, he's on youtube and like in uh, um, all the other social media platforms right he does a lot of roll racing his stock motor unopened no oil pump gears and all like that as far to the best of my knowledge anyway he's got a 100 millimeter pull e85 just so making upper upper 900 or whatever mm -hmm. and you know these things don't make really start dipping the power until up high right yeah but he's walking the crap out of it you could put anything in front of that dude lamborghini r8s uh gtrs you name it porsches he can do it and he's he's blowing the doors off of all of them that's what good it's that's what's nuts. good about these centrifugal uh blower kits that the power is up top you know so yep. if you want all that power up top we're going to stay up in the high rpm revs yep. then by all means this is the blower to go with the, with an auto 
with like a hundred mil pulley. Like I cannot wait. It's gonna be so stupid, so stupid fast. I, I, one day coming soon. Fuel system, guys. Hit the like on the video. Subscribe if you have not already. Let's get the numbers up. Share the video. Do what you got to do. Let's get a few. Help me get a fuel system for this car, please. That's what's They're expensive. Next, like yeah. 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 E85 is where it's at. Because 93, it'll detonate like and it'll pull timing. Like it may be pulling timing right now. I could watch my Lambda and watch uh, and see. But usually, on the 120 millimeter pulley, on a Gen 3 Coyote with 93 pump gas and like a BAP. You still have to splash octane booster in the tank just to keep the 93 93. Because, like, everywhere we go, the 93 pulls timing because it's not yeah. really 93 pump gas. Yeah. A lot of guys don't understand that. They're like, oh, you put octane booster in your, in your, your tank, so you're, you're adding horsepower. No, not really. You're really just cleaning up what should be there anyway. Yeah, you're keeping, you're now, keeping what's supposed to be in a tank. The car can add timing if it's happy, like stupid happy, mm -hmm. which is horsepower, yes. But if it were true 93, it would do that anyway. Yep. So I just get tired of hearing, hearing those comments like, oh, you put on bamboo, you're cheating. No, we're not. It's just because when we pump 93, it's like 89, you know, it's water. So we have to fix the fuel. Uh, but the best way around that is get off of 93, get on the 85 and be happy. But with inflation these days, the kits are so expensive. They are. They're, They're so expensive. expensive. Listen to this. Oh, it sounds so good. Sounds like a freaking jet you, engine. You, you never get tired of it. No. <laughs> no. Now we're going to have this slow truck in front of me. All right, bud. Coming around you. It's like half throttle right there. You can hear the tile blow off every time. Oh, yeah, with the windows down? Let me get in between some trees. You'll, you'll be like, wow. It's not a, you know, that, that classic, like, yeah. Noise, right? It's it's got that straight, constant, whooshing constant sound. whooshing mm -hmm. noise. It's it's letting a lot more air on it, but the, the car feels way different than it did before. It's so, it's so nuts. Like I was watching, uh, I think I was watching a video or reading about a guy who was talking about like I didn't know that it had a problem until I went to the tile. Like he, he thought that the car felt fine before with the precision. He went to the t the tile and he was like, whoa, the car was like way better. You know, so that tile's a game changer, man. Yeah, yeah. That tile is a game changer. And who would have thought, right? Who would have thought a nice little two hundred dollar mod? Yep. Would it be a game changer like yep. that? Feels. Oh, wait till boost weather comes. When it starts getting chilly outside. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. Goodbye we'll tires. Some more boost. Goodbye tires. Yeah. So guys, that is the video. Appreciate you watching, hanging in there. Subscribe if you have not. If you made it this far, if you you know. Uh, Let's, let's get a fuel system so drop the thumbs up i really appreciate it, it just helps the channel grow um you guys being part of the party being part of the journey really appreciate it. every single one of you out there honestly from the depths of my heart and uh let's hopefully we'll hit 50,000 subscribers this year tile big improvements uh love the tuning love this supercharger on this mustang gt guys go check out the rest of the content on the channel and um yeah so you like it? Yeah, I like it, man. It's freaking badass. <laughs> it's badass. So, anyway, see you guys in the next video. Short and sweet. Just a bunch of watt pulls, but uh, get ready for the next one because we got some big things coming in the next couple of videos that you're really, really, really not going to want to miss. So, stay tuned.